Hello all, I am Dr. Prabhas Sanjanbal. In today's class, we will discuss about one more example of SLR1 parser or simple LR1 parser. Okay. So, simple LR1 parser. Okay, in the previous class, we have already discussed about how to construct the SLR1 parsing table. Okay, how to construct the SLR1 parsing table. And we have also discussed a grammar is SLR1 or not using the S using the SLR1 parsing table. We have already discussed in the previous class. Okay. So here we'll discuss one more example of SLR1 parser. Say verify the grammar is SLR1 or not. Verify the grammar is SLR1 or not. How to verify or how to identify a grammar is SLR1 or not? Using First we, first, we have to construct SLR1 parsing table. First, we have to construct SLR1 parsing table, okay? So then, here, the grammar is given. Here, the grammar is given. We have to convert this grammar. We have to convert this grammar into augmented grammar. Augmented grammar means we add S prime to S, then S to AB, then A to a, B to B, okay? So, so then we'll construct or then we'll compute the LR0 items. Then we'll compute the LR0 items, okay? See how to construct. LR0 items, S prime to dot s so now we'll find the closure of s the closure of s is s2 dot ap then we'll find the closure of a so a2 dot s this is i0 this is I zero step. So now here we'll start S A then small a. S means S prime to S dot. Then here S to A dot B. Then find the closure of B. So B2 dot B. So this is one step. So here A2 A dot. So this is I1 state. This is I2 state. This is I3 state. Here we'll scan B in S two A B dot. Then here small B in B two B dot. Okay. So I two gun I three then I4 state, then I5 state. See here, I5, I4 state is completed, I5 state is completed. So now we have to stop here. Now we have to stop here. Okay, so this is the complete set of LR0 items. This is the complete set of LR0 items. LR0 items. Now, We'll construct the SLR1 table. Now we'll construct the SLR1 table. See how to construct.
Okay, so here small a, small b, dollar, then go to action a, s, a, b, dollar i zero state, i one state, i two state. I three state, I four state, I five state. Okay, see. Now first we'll shift the go. First we'll check the go to action. This is one go to action. This is one, and there are three go to action. See, I zero read as goes to I one. I zero read as goes to I one. I zero read there goes to I one means one. I zero read there goes to I two. I zero read A goes to two. Then I two read B goes to four. I two read B goes to four. Okay, go to actions are clear. Now we'll now we'll check the shift actions. We'll check the shift action. This is one shift action. This is one shift action. The I zero read A goes to I three. I three means S three. I zero read A goes to this is S three. Then I zero okay. I zero read A goes to I three okay. Then I two read B goes to I five. I two read B goes to I five means S five. Okay. So shift actions are completed. Now we'll see the Now we'll see the reduce action. Okay, so make this number. This is one, two, three. Before placing the reduce action, first we have to find. First we have to find the first. Sorry, follow set of S, A, and B. First we have to find the follow set. Follow set C. Follow set of S, A, B. Follow of S. Follow of A. Follow of B. See, follow of S. Initially, it is dollar. There is no S in the right side. R H S part of the grammar. So, follow of S is dollar. Follow of A. A means what? First of, there is something on the right side of A. Since there is something on the right side of A, that means first of B. First of B is nothing but Small b. Okay, so follow up b. Follow up b. Here one b is there. There is nothing on the right side of b. So since there is nothing on the right side of b, so follow up b is nothing but follow up s. Follow up s is nothing but dollar. Okay, so now we will place. So how many reduce actions are see? This is one reduce action. This is one reduce action, and this one. This is one reduce action. So why? Because I three is completed action, I four is completed action, and I five is completed action. Completed action means this is the completed style. Okay. So I three in I three in I three one reduce action is there in I three reduce action A to A A to A means in I three the reduce action is R two in I three the reduce action is R two. Okay. So we'll place R two in I three. Based on the follow set calculation, so find the follow up. Follow up is nothing but B. So I three B. This is R two. I three B. Follow up is what B? Follow up is B means I three to B is R two. Okay. Now we'll see I four state. I four state S two A B dot S two A B dot. This is the reduce action is I R one. So follow up is so here. In I four, we will find what follow up is. Follow up is is dollar. So I four two dollar. I four two dollar is R one. Okay. Now we will see in I five state. In I five state, B two B dot. B two B dot means this is R three. This is the reduce action is here R three. So follow up B. Follow up B is dollar. So I five two dollar. This is R. 
just sec here question is so you verify the grammar is slr one or not verify the grammar is slr not or not how to check or how to identify the grammar is slr or slr one or not if there is no multiple entries if there is no multiple entries in the slr one parsing table then this grammar is slr one see just see there is no multiple entries in the slr one parsing table there is no multiple entries in the slr one parsing table so this grammar is called as slr one so the so this grammar is called as so this grammar is called as slr one okay so since the grammar is slr one since the grammar is slr one we can also call every slr one every slr one grammar is also called as unambiguous grammar on ambiguous grammar every on ambiguous grammar if the grammar is slr one then it is called as on ambiguous but if the on ambiguous grammar need not be slr one if the on ambiguous grammar need not be slr but if the slr one grammar is must be on ambiguous okay so in the next class we will discuss uh, one more example of slr one and also sr and rr config in sr and rr config in slr one parsing okay okay thanks for watching